Hello people, so much like last week's chapter of One Piece 946, we got pretty much 100% focus on Udon Prison. We got the same thing in 947. And I guess the payoff between Luffy and Big Mom, we get to finally see what Luffy would have been able to do with the Young Core. Now he kind of triggered the flow of hockey, so the same thing that Rayleigh did. Start off with the cover page, love the cover page, Brooke conducting an orchestra, or at least a chorus, a sea cats. So, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, we start off with the chapter with the flashback when he's thinking about when Rayleigh helped out Kami with the neck collar. And indeed, Rayleigh did the same thing that Luffy did. So it's confirmed now. It's the same type of hockey. And we actually get to see what Luffy Rayleigh did. So we never got to see that pre post pre time skip. So here we got to see him hockey up the floor of hockey. Got really. Uh, Luffy's doing the same thing, but he he's forgetting how to do it. Here, Goro says that's how you do it, but you just it only works when your life's on the line. So it makes sense, and now he's like, which means if you're able to master it, you should be able to stop an attack. Big Mom comes in, and here, Goro's like, show me you can save both our lives. So he's like 100% teaching Luffy right now, not knowing that it's gonna be, this could turn into a death. You've got this, and I thought Luffy was gonna actually gonna block the attack first. He kind of did, but he still got flung back him and Hiroguro into a wall. It kind of looked bad at first, but it gives us the, the lowdown on what we already knew about the hockey that protects you with the armor hockey, the uh, base armor hockey, if you want to call it that, the invisible armor that increases your strength with your attacks and a powerful, powerful ability. But one level above that power is the ability to have hockey that you clad yourself in and to enter your enemy and destroy them from the inside out. So that's the flow of hockey. That is far more powerful. That's what Luffy triggered, but he doesn't know how to master it, which is why he is still alive because he's going to be the one to teach Luffy once they bust out of prison. Then this is where this chapter gets chaotic because once again, Big Mom attacks. They're still able to avoid, and Hiroguro's like, "Yo, I'm leaving this to you." Meanwhile, we go to we go over to a, a prisoner ironworks, so it makes sense making our way through Udon prison. And this is why I gotta give credit where credit's due to Queen because he's back up on his feet and he's actually able to come up with a plan. Like Lord Kyra's territory, and they're making their way to a furnace. We still didn't see Kawamatsu, Raizo, or Caribou there, so we don't know how that's going active because they're gonna bust out of there. Because Queen, despite his plan, is completely ignoring everybody else except the Big Mom. So Queen's, Queen's like, okay, so Big Mom is a child. Charging beast right now, so we know to try to lure in with the I think it's the empty part of Oshiroko. I, I don't know where they came up. Okay, well, here comes Queen with the Brachio Obama, right? So I don't know if that's a reference, but either way, it's kind of cool that Queen's actually doing something. It looked promising until you see Big Mom, uh, her eyes go white, and she's actually having flashbacks to the Big Mom parents, and then boom, her memories kick in. And Big Mom's got her memories back. And that that's the only attack the Queen did, which makes, makes the situation even worse now. And she remembers, oh, that's right, I fell into the ocean. She remembers Queen. That panel where she's looking, oh, you're kind of lucky up Queen, right? So again, there's more history, more interaction between Queen and between Big Mom and Kaido. She knows Queen with her memories. And Queen is the face that Queen makes, the t p proverbial NL Perona type of face. He knows he screwed up because all he did was go by for Queen, I really do. But he's kind of an idiot for not for leave Luffy and the rest of the prisoners unattended. So it's, it's like, we're finished. There's no way she's a monster. Then she just passes out. She passes out. So Queen can find his lucky stars. They got lucky. So they're like, bring 100% sea stone handcuffs and chains. It's going to be worse than Dolph Omega or Ataya. So, what about the ship? It's ready. So, they're going to take a ship to Onigashima and personally escort her to Kaido. So, that's going to be interesting. If that takes if that takes form in this arc, we could get some type of flashback to, to what, number one, Kaido owes Big Mom a favor from the past. And number two, maybe we get some fine, get some insight into the Rock Pirates. So I'm kind of curious about the movie itself, One Piece Film Stampede. But either way, 
So she's destroyed all the doors, but like I mentioned, they're completely ignoring Luffy and all the rest of the prisoners. You see Big Mom wrapped up in chains. Let's go to Anigashima. So they're on the ship. I gotta give Queen credit because his plan almost backfired, but it has to play it off. You see Momonosuke and Tama. They're like, oh, the mom, mom of the gate's closing, and Momonosuke is like, yo, we need to stay here. We promised them, which they haven't been captured yet, but I think they will be before the, before the 108 2 closes. Rudon's still cut off from communications with the rest of Wano, so if something happens, we have no way of reporting it. And at that point, Luffy's back on his feet and like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm free to go wild now. I don't have to worry about Queen. I don't have to worry about Big Mom. Which I think, in retrospective, is kind of a cop out to like finding out what Luffy could do against a young cop. But how do you block, say here in the block, Big Mom's attack with the flower of hockey that just recently awakened, which is supposed to be advanced compared to regular arm in the hockey? People would have been complaining about that, so I think Oda threw a curveball for a reason because I think when Luffy masters up, he's gonna have to use that against Kaido. With more training, it'll be a, more, more, a little bit more acceptable. Okay, awaken some type of future observation hockey in his fight with Katakiri. So if he were to do that now against the young core, it would have messed up the entire power scaling without without Luffy building towards it. It, it, it works when you're in, your life's on the line. So Luffy needs to know that feeling multiple times. So ironically now, I think, I didn't expect Luke, Big Mom to get a memory spark before the end of 108 2. And I think the reason for it is because, very simply, everybody predicted the Big Mom would break Luffy out of prison and form a union with Luffy. That's not happening now because she's got a memory spark, so she's going to try and kill Luffy the moment she tries. But she's shackled now, which makes sense of why the rest of the crew are there. Because that gives them spotlight to actually do something, which. I'm curious if they want to save Big Mom, right? Are the, the rest of the Big Mom pirates going to join up with Luffy? Because they both go to Onigashima. That's, we know that. Baba Nuki. This Baba Nuki is going to get one shot, probably. And then they're going to find a way out of Iran prison. What we don't know is when, is when they're going to get to Onigashima. It's probably going to be one of Act 3. Robin says they need to find a, a new point. A new rendezvous point, so I'm pretty sure that's where Luffy's going to be joining up with the crew, maybe. But it's going to be curious as hell. And and like uh, Oda gave Big Mama memories back for a reason. But what was the point? It's a per I guess it was the purpose to get to Udo prison without actually recognizing Luffy. But it doesn't make any sense because. It's just crazy how things turn around like that, and I think it's because a lot of people predicted it. Oda doesn't like that when it when he publishes things that a lot of people call and predict. So he won't. So you got the answers. Let's change the questions. So Big Mom's got her memories back, and now Luffy's able to go wild. It puts a curveball in the situation with Onigashima because Big Mom is shackled and heading towards Kaido's location. We got the rest of the Straw Hearts. We don't know what's happening with them right now. These two chapters have been pretty much focused on Udon Prison. So, and again, we got a glimpse of what Luffy can do with this new advanced arm and hockey, but we don't know how long it's going to take him for, to master. It could be a time skip where we go, we end 108 2, but by the time Act 3 starts up, he's already got the hang of it. So, Baba Luffy, I'm, I'm pretty sure I actually transformed in a trunk of an elephant. So, and I'm pretty, it's, it's, a, it's the same Baba Luffy that kind of KO'd Luffy. So I'm pretty sure that's, that's a fight that has to get concluded. So let's play it because, yeah, it's like what what's, what happened with Chopper now and Okiku. Unless she actually takes that to heart and actually helps out because they did actually help out Big Mom for a while. Then I don't see the payoff for it. I don't. So Okiku, and, like I said, Okiku and Chopper are still there. Queen dies their bullet big time, but I gotta give him credit for the plan. However, that plan may backfire down the line. Call for the rest of the Big Mom Pirates to like jump into action in Onigashima, so that gives them a reason to go. We know Luffy and the Strats are going. This is gonna be some epic stuff in leading into one or act three. I'm pretty sure Act Two is almost done for. 
with Luffy about to bust out of there on his own. And we're going to see if he can control the flow of hockey. So I, I like this chapter. It got focuses on one aspect of Wano, that being Udo in prison. We probably should focus on, probably will focus on the rest of the crew next. The rest of the crew next. So can't wait for that. So, and also Wano in the, in the anime officially begins starts in episode 892. But we know it starts this weekend with, with Wano. So I can't wait for that. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like this review if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more One Piece. Catch you guys later. Thanks, guys. Bye.